Yeah, I know. I, I didn't know that when we were growing up, we were Southern. It's just we were what we were. <laughs> it wasn't until I went somewhere else that I realized we were Southern. And it's not, a, it's not necessarily based strictly on your geographical location. Southerners have a shared attitude. Uh, there's a sense of kindness and concern and caring. But generally, you meet anyone from the South and they'll say, hey, how you doing? You know, nice to meet you. And there's a lot of yes ma'ams and no ma'ams and yes sirs and no sirs. That's what Southern is, being self-reliant. My mama used to make the best mashed potatoes and the cool thing about mashed potatoes, if there's any left, you can make bread out of them the next day, these little mashed potato cakes. Yeah, you mix up mashed potatoes, add some milk, make sure you got plenty of good butter. <laughs> not the margarine, you want butter, the good stuff. The, guy's got, the kind's got the good fat in it, not the kind that's got the plastic in it. <laughs> you put them on your head, your tongue slap you to death trying to get to them. I still grow a big garden, way too big for my wife and I and our children. We learned how to can stuff, so we started canning everything, which is so much fun. We grow our own vegetables in our garden. Uh, we make our own salsa out of the stuff that we grow in the garden. Uh, we have our own bees on the farm, so we rear our own bees that have provide honey for us. And it's all organic. It's a, it's a single strain. And basically what that means is I take it out of the hive. I put it in a thing and we turn it and it slings all the honey out and it goes through and it goes through one strainer and then we bottle it. It's that simple. But bee suit don't always work. They'll find a hoe. I was real proud one day. I was working with my bees and cracking jokes like, yeah, I can't touch this. And, all of a sudden I realized there's one and it was real close and I realized it was inside my thing. So you're not supposed to swat them and take off. And I kind of walk away and then I realize there's six bees in there. And then I panicked. Ah! <laughs> yeah. The bad part is my wife and my daughter in the freaking kitchen looking out the window laughing. They didn't offer help or nothing. When I met my wife, I fell in love with her instantly. All she cares about is making sure that we're happy together and that our children are taken care of and happy. My mom knew her parents and introduced us. We went to a little, uh, a little game place and played some kind of video games or something. And I took her back home and like, nice to meet you. And I left and I said, I'll call you tomorrow. Well, the next morning I got alerted and, and was gone. Uh, got deployed and was gone for about six weeks. And as soon as we got back, I literally still had camouflage on and was in my stinking uniform. And I drove all the way back there because I thought, man, if I missed out on this opportunity, I hope she hadn't met somebody. And knocked on the doors about 10 o'clock at night and her mother came to the door. I'm sorry I came so late, I don't wanna wake y'all, but would you let her know that I'm, I'm sorry that I didn't call her, but I, I had to leave on, on a mission, and, but I would like to see her again. Went all the way back, well the next day she did call me and thank God, like I said, I fell in love with her that first time. We met, met a couple more times and dated a little bit and she was going back to Texas to be with her dad for a while before she went back to college. And so I'd never met her dad, knew he was a great big man. Went back to Fort Campbell. Uh, I had a three day break, so I hopped in my truck. I took off, I stopped at Walmart, I bought a ring, true story. She still to this day doesn't know that that ring came from Walmart, so I don't want her to know that. <laughs> and I walked up, knocked on the door, and her dad answered the door. And he said, you must be Craig. And I said, yes, sir, nice to meet you. And he shook my hand. And I'll never forget it, because his hand went all the way around my hand. And he said, I understand you want to marry my daughter. I said, yes, sir, I figure it's the right thing to do. <laughs> he said, I love you, son, come in. And I got down on one knee and said, hey, will you marry me? And she said, yeah. I said, all right, well, we got to leave. <laughs> I have to go back to Fort Campbell. <laughs>